As Mr. Bowman here, we are learning to apply Pythagoras' theory into 3D contexts. And I suppose the key or the new part of our learning objective is the idea of 3D contexts. And that is the idea of applying trigonometry in 3D shapes. Um, I've got an example on the right here that's a cuboid, but it could be any 3D shape like a triangular prism, uh, etc. The key step I'm going to put it down there. The key step is when you are solving these questions, you must break your 3D shape into 2D triangles. So break 3D shape into 2D triangles. If you can do that, this type of question does become really easy. Um, but it does take a bit of a practice. It is quite challenging at first. So I've got um, an example question on the right here. And the question or the thing we want to calculate is we're trying to calculate the length of AD. So that's our question. And first step is you probably want to draw it. So A is over here on the bottom corner. We can see corner D up the top there, and if we connect that with a line, we can see that is how long, we're trying to find out how long it is from point A to point B. And the 2D shape that comes in, if we draw another line from A to C, and from down from B to, C, B to D, or D to C, you can see that 2D triangle forming. So let's draw it down here. So we've got our triangle, and there's our right angle, which will be down by C, D will be on the top there, and A would be down the bottom there. So that's an example of breaking our 3D shape into a 2D triangle. We're then going to put down the measurements we know. This here is 3 meters. We're trying to calculate AD, so I'm going to put X there, and the issue with 3D things is you need to do calculation sometimes. So we don't know what AC is, so we need to perform a calculation to find out what AC is. And that's when we're going to need another 3D shape. So let's change pen colors. Um, maybe we'll use the pink pen, yep. Um, down the bottom of our shape, I'm going to draw another one. We can see A to C again, we can see A to B again, and we can see B to C again. So there's another right angle triangle, so let's draw that up here. So this one's a bit longer. There's the right angle. The right angle sits where B is. Up the top there would be C, and down the bottom there is A. So this has been moved upright, but if we flatten this, push it to the ground, that will be the base of that shape. We know that AB is four, and that's four meters. We know that BC is two meters. So we can see them there, four meters and two meters. They were given to us in the question. We can then use that, let's call that Y. We can then use that to calculate AC, which we'll put into the equation or the blue triangle, and then we can use that information to find out AD. So let's work on the pink triangle first. So we're going to write A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We then substitute what we know. Um, so we know A and B are going to be 4 and 2. So 2 squared plus 4 squared equals Y squared. Um, that's going to become 4 plus 16 equals y squared. y squared will be equal to 20. y is therefore going to be the square root of 20. And if you get that, pop that in your calculator. So square root of 20, um, that's going to get you to 4.47. Um, that there is in meters, and I've rounded that to one decimal point. Now that I've got that number... I'm going to put it into my next diagram, 4.47. That means I can go ahead and calculate the rest of that triangle there. So let's change pen colors. Let's go back. Oh, maybe we'll use green. So we write down our formula, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. We know the A and, the, or a and B values. So that's 4.47 squared plus 3 squared. We know that's going to become X squared. 4.47 squared is going to be 20, plus 3 squared is 9, that is going to be equal to x squared, so x squared will be equal to 29, x will be equal to the square root of 29, 
And again, we pop that into our calculator, square root of 29, that there is going to be, x will be equal to 5.39 meters, and I've rounded that to two decimal points. Or oh, just realized I got the rounding wrong, that was meant to be 2dp earlier on. Um, so that wraps up this question, another short video. Um, we've broken down our 3D shape into two triangles. So here was triangle one, that included the thing or the x we were trying to find out, which was length of AD. And to get one of the sides, we actually had to draw another triangle or pull out another bit of information from that 3D shape. So hopefully you can see how these questions get approached. And as I've emphasized a few, few times, um, to be successful at these, you do need to develop the skill of pulling out the 2D triangle from your 3D shape. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you saw Dugong down the bottom corner today. Um, now let's get into heaps and heaps of practice.